Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to change a predefined MIDI map for a MIDI controller. As MIDI controller, we will use the AK APC40 MK2 in this tutorial. As task, we have to create a new MIDI map. Pad 1 to 4 should be assigned to the storage places 1 to 4 of deck A. Pad 5 to 8 should be assigned to the storage places 1 to 4 of deck B. The fader 1 to 4 should be assigned to the layer opacity of the first four layers at deck A and the faders 5 to 8 should be assigned to the layer opacity of deck B. Now let us start. We are already at the MIDI tab of the Matrix 5 device manager. The AK APC40 is already enabled. If you don't know how to enable a MIDI controller in Matrix 5, please have a look at the tutorial Remote Control via a pre-mapped MIDI controller. To change the remote commands of a MIDI controller, we have to select the desired MIDI controller and then we navigate to the edit button of the remote control section and we click it. Now the MIDI remote editor opens. According to our task, we want to create a new configuration. Therefore, we click the new button. In the first steps, we want to add the function to change the storage places of deck A. Therefore, we click the plus button, navigate to deck A, place ID plus fade. Now, we want to assign the MIDI command with the help of pressing the button of a MIDI controller. Therefore, we change the Settings for the incoming MIDI data to assign extended data. We select the desired line of the MIDI commands and then we press the button. Now we only need to change the settings for the maximum value. In this case, we want to control the deck A storage place number one. Therefore, we type in number 0 as maximum value. To change values of a desired column, please perform a double click and then you can change the settings. And we accept this with enter. For the MIDI feedback, we change the settings from none to state. And according to our task, we want to change the value for active to 122 and for inactive to 41. Please note the feedback values needs to be assigned according to your desired MIDI controller. That means please have a look at the manual of the MIDI controller to find the desired values for your desired feedback command. Now we want to add the next line that means we want to add the function to activate storage place number two of deck A. Therefore we can copy this command and now we select it and we press the pad button of the MIDI controller and the incoming MIDI command will be set as command for this line. Now we only need to change the maximum value to number one to activate storage place number two. Copy it again, press the third button and change the value to two. And again, we copy it, select it and press the next button there and change the value to number three. Now the first four MIDI pad buttons are assigned to storage place of deck A. According to our task, we want also control D 
the storage places of deck B. Therefore we click plus again and navigate deck B, place plus fade. Now we press the fifth button of the MIDI controller and change the values again to zero, the state and 122 and 41 for inactive. And we can copy this again. Copy, assign, and change the value to number, number one. Copy, we assign the seventh pet button. And again, copy and assign the eighth button and change the value to number three. Now, we want to add the functions for the fader. Therefore, we click the plus button, navigate deck A, storage place, then layer, and now we have to change the value submaster layer 1, select it, and now we can move a fader to assign the MIDI command. We can copy this because we don't need to limit the maximum value, select the second one. We can also perform a right click at this line and now we navigate again to deck A storage place, layer, layer 2, we create a copy again and then right click deck A storage place, layer 3. We also can assign the MIDI command later after the copy. Select the tens list entry and move the fader. And the eleventh and move the fader. Now a last copy for deck A. Perform a right click, deck A, storage place, layer and layer opacity number four and now move the fourth fader. Now we only have to add the same function that means the layer opacity at the fader five to eight for the layers at deck B. Therefore we click plus deck B storage place layer Opacity layer 1. Now assign the information by moving a fader and we can click again plus of course. Deck B storage place layer opacity layer 2 selected. Move a fader. Now we will copy this information. And as last command, we need to add the function for the layer opacity of layer number four. Therefore, we copy it again, perform a right click, and now change the settings. And of course, we need to change the value for our incoming data. As you can see, there is an issue because uh, these two faders or these two settings are assigned to one and the same fader, we can change this, simply select it and move this desired fader. Now we are able to test, therefore we change the setting for the incoming data to test input and now as soon as we press a button at the pad, we can change the settings there. And of course, we can change the values for the input. Now we can rename it to custom APC 40, for instance. And now we can save it or we can close the media remote editor. I don't want to save as long as I will open the setup at this PC, the MIDI configuration will be loaded.
but you can save it if you want to move it to the next PC for instance. Now we can click OK and we can also test storage number 2, that means stack number B. And of course, if we change to the layer view, we can see as soon as we move a fader, the layers, respectively the opacity of a layer, will be moved according to the setting of the fader. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.